YouTube uh, making a video on the Jetta. Didn't see any videos on the like the older school 95 Jetta GLS um, 2.0 liters. Um, I seen a teardown of like how to get your belt off, but it doesn't show how to put the belt back on. Um, I already got the belt put back on. I'm just going to go over like all the marks and stuff and how you want to make sure to have everything set up. And it is kind of hard, but I'll show you how to kind of jibble it, mess with it to get it set in proper. I still have to start it and run it. I have to fill the uh, oil and antifreeze and put the intake back on and all that stuff. But I wanted to show you. Um, let me get a flashlight. Because, uh, let me see here. Um, hold on, guys. Flashlight. Uh, my flashlight's been messing up on me a little bit today, so I'm going to see if I can fix the damn flashlight. got to get another one. Okay, you see down here, sorry, it's false flashing, it's stupid. Damn flashlight, man. So, okay, if you see right there, there's that mark. See, that's the top of the cap. See on the end of the, the distributor housing itself, there's a mark down there. You got to have that lined up for your for your um, oil pump uh, to hit and shaft to, to sync up with your cam and everything else. Um, down here, there's also another mark. It's kind of hard to see. Um, you can see the mark there. See that mark? Well, there's an arrow on the cover, uh, the plastic cover here. You got to line that up. Also, up top here, you got to line that mark up as well. And, um, you know, you want to get that as straight as you possibly can. Um, these are interference engines, but I'm sure, you know, um, you know, you want to get that all lined up just proper. Me, I disassembled the whole head and everything and had it resurfaced and cleaned up. So, I mean, not all cleaned up, but just resurfaced real quick. And uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. But um, you got to make sure to get that all lined up right. You know what I mean? Also, for, um, for the tensioner down here, the tensioner that's here to tension the, the belt. Um, see, that it's kind of weird, too, because when I first set it up, my mark up here was uh, kind of further back, and these one, this one down here, and the marks were lined up over here a little bit. So um, I had to actually kind of loosen the tensioner, um, just loosen that up, and pulled the belt off to the edge as much as I can, and I set the cam up top just proper where the line is because when you tent, put tension on here, it's going to pull that cam back a little bit. You want these marks to line up as best as you can. And that's how I got it set up in there and as straight as I, I could get it. Of course, I'm still going to fill the oil and get everything set up and get it running. I'll make a video after it is running so you know that's proper. Um, but as far as this tensioner down here, you don't even really need a tool. I mean, a small pair of um, needle nose pliers oh, shoot, dropped some of my tools. will fit right into these little holes down here. I think they're like four millimeter or something like that. But anyways, see how that is? And what I did is I just you put spin it to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and then tighten your nut up here, get all the slack out of the, the belt itself, and bam, you're you got it in. Uh so now um as far as doing the timing, there is nothing about the timing either. Um, but I like I said, I, I have experience with these cars and I messed with them in the past, so I wanna let everybody know you don't go and put your timing gun over here on the crank and s check your timing because how are you going to do that when there's no needle there's just a plastic mark on your c cover you know what i mean so to set the timing on this i still have to do it myself um you have to pull this plug out there's a plug on top of the transmission you hook up your timing light to your number one cylinder to your to your battery and then you go ahead and bink you go ahead and hit your put your spotlight down there for your timing light bam check your timing set it up of course you could adjust in uh your distributor here to get it fine tuned in um and you're set and ready to go i just wanted to make that quick video because there's really nothing on these older school vw's and there you go all right everybody um subscribe if you have any questions um
message me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, pretty busy sometimes, uh, but I'll try to get back to you. All right, thanks and have a good day.